Greetings to another video. So today's video is going to be all about my essential pieces of kit that I take on endurance rides. So anything around two, three, four hundred k. Um, these are the essential things that I take, and maybe will help you if you're looking at doing some endurance rides. So let's get straight into it. Oh, don't know whether you saw my three hundred k ride at the weekend. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just the stuff that I took for that, and I thought that will may maybe make quite an interesting video. Maybe it won't. Maybe you're bored already. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing that I take when I'm doing like a longer ride is this little saddle bag. This is such a great saddle bag. By the way, I paid, actually I didn't pay money for this. Jay paid money for it and then I basically stole it off him. So it's not been gifted, but it's such a good saddle bag because it's kind of a little bit bigger than your normal like regular saddle bag, but it's not like a big bike touring saddle bag. So you can basically get a couple of um, tubes, repair kit, tie levers, um, and a jacket and a little bit of food in it. So, so, so good this. So it basically like folds over like that. So you can make it kind of as small or as big as you want. Um, but yeah, it's made by Big Top. I'll leave a link if you are interested. But yeah, I always take that just because I like to be able to take an extra layer, like um, an extra jacket or a gilet, just in case it gets cold at night or arm warmers and leg warmers. And you don't have to have stuff shoved in your back pocket. Which I'm not a big fan of, so I like to have stuff like in in a little saddle bag. So yeah, that is good. I think it's about thirty-five pound. Have I already said that? I don't know. So that's the first thing that I take, and in that, dun, 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 actually some of it's out there. Um, I will take two tubes. Some people might be like, "Oh, why are you taking two? You could just take one and a repair kit." It's up to you. I just took two because I don't want to be faffing around. Um, repairing a, a tube. If I had to, then I would. So I take two tubes. Um, a pump goes without saying, you should always take tubes and a pump, just because you are daft if you don't. Um, I always take, I've not got it with me, always take cash and a bank card. Some of these are gonna be really like simple, but they are essential things that I would take. So cash and a bank card, just in case you need a taxi or you need food or whatever. So yeah, and then I always take Actually, there's two. I normally take one emergency gel. I have got two because it was a long ride. Um, I don't generally have gels on rides. Um, I use them as like a bit of an insurance thing, just like in case I get absolutely like close to bonking and I really need one. I actually used one of these on Saturday because the, where we thought we were stopping for food, there wasn't anywhere to eat there. So we carried on and it must have been another half an hour before we got food. And like literally, as we got to the cafe, I ate one of these because I was just like, I'm just, I need to get something in my system. So yeah, emergency gel. Uh, some of you might take these, some of you might not. So basically, and this is probably like, this is like ultra, ultra organized. Dorelli hanger. I had mine snap on Lands and Jenna Groats and I vowed I would always, always, always keep one with me at all times just in case it snaps obviously these are different for everyone um but i always because it's so small and if, you, if it breaks when you're riding you just it's just a faff you just you can't pick them up at bike shop so always carry one of those and i always carry a this is a bit filler to show you a quick link a speed link different names from basically in case your chain snaps so i always keep that power pack because normally if I'm doing 400, if I'm riding through the night, I'll take my dynamo, but my dynamo needs repair and there's something not right with it. I don't know what's wrong. Um, so I basically just took a power pack so that I could charge my Garmin and my phone. Bars, I guess it goes without saying, but I, again, on long rides, I always just take a couple of bars just as like, again, insurance, because I'm not gonna take all the food that I'm ever gonna need on a 300K ride in my back pocket, I'm just not gonna. I need to stop off at shops and get food, so I always just take a few bars just as as extras. These are like salt tablets. I've only just started using these, so I'm gonna see how I get on, because generally on really long rides, the next day I feel like I've got a hangover, so I think it's because maybe I'm not replacing my salts and potassium, so I'm gonna try those out and I'll let you know. Right, one of my favorite things to take, I mean, I don't, I don't love carrying it, but it's so small is this, let me show it you, let's get it ready. This has been gifted, 
So just so you know, I have been sent this to try out and I absolutely love it. And I think you will if you're doing Audaxes as well or long distance. It's a little, like it's a lock. It's made by hip lock, um, but it's like, it's combination so you don't need a key. And that for if I'm just nipping into a shop just to get some food is amazing. It's really small, it's really light and it's like combination lock. And it's basically just like a, a metal zip tie. Obviously, I wouldn't be locking my bike with this if I was in the centre of Manchester and I was going going out for my dinner, but for literally five minutes just to stop opportunist thieves, 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 then it's good. I also use it um, to lock my front wheel to the frame so that when I've got my D-lock on the rear wheel and the frame as well, so everything is locked together, no one's taking anything, but yeah. They're not mega expensive either. I'll leave a link to those as well if you're interested, but they are really good. I'm really impressed with that. Um, last thing, rubber gloves. Um, these are for two reasons. One, in case I get a mechanical and literally there's oil everywhere. Not oil everywhere, but you know, like oil off the chain and stuff. You just don't want your hands covered and then you've got really mucky hands for the next 200K. And also they're a really good thing to have if you get really cold hands. Um, they make your hands basically just sweat like an absolute mofo, so yeah, like a little emergency thing there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Obviously a motor tool, just in case. Tire levers. Um, and one thing that I haven't got here that I would normally take is um, an extra layer. So the main thing that I would take with me on Audax, on an Audax or like a long distance ride is this Oh, I should have shown you, you saw it in the video. It was like a Provis Gilet. And the reason that I like that is because it's bright yellow fluoro for in the day, and then you flip it round and it's got like that, um, what do you call it? I'm just gonna get it, I'll show it. You should have brought that out. Oh, it's this little thing. This was also gifted, but I did buy maybe three or four different Provis products before they sent me this. And I already had one anyway, so. Um, but the one that I had was a little bit too big, so yeah, I got an up updated version, but it's so good. So like that in the night just lights up, um, you can wear that in the day. But the reason that I have that is because it's so, so warm. It's like, it's not very breathable basically. So when it is cold, um, it just keeps you mega, mega warm. So yeah, they're the things I take on endurance rides. I guess I'm trying to think for a 400, yeah, the only extra thing that I would take for a 400 is my dynamo um, and potentially a few more bars. But I reckon that is pretty much everything I take. So if there's anything that you think um, that you take on your endurance rides and let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like the video if you found it helpful and I will see you next video. Bye. Oh God, I can't reach it. <laughs>